From the heartland of America to every nation on earth, this is Jack Van Empey Presents The Truth in News and Commentary. Here now are doctors Jack and Rexella Van Empey. Hello and welcome to Jack Van Impey Presents. Before we get into the program, I just want to explain these. It's not for my sight, but I had uh, a little bit of a, an infection in my eye. And, you know, these are pretty bright lights that we have to have on for television. And so uh, I thought I'd wear these and not trying to be that glamorous, of course. Oh, you always are, baby. <laughs> Most beautiful woman in the world. Oh, well, the Lord gave you that mind. But anyway, uh, I know that you'll understand. I don't want anything to come between us. I want to be right there with you in spite of uh, these glasses. But uh, we want to get into the, the program today. Uh, but before I do again, I want to say I can't believe that we are in October already. The fall weather, I mentioned it a couple of weeks ago, was on the way, and now it is here. But I have to say I love every season of the year. In fact, fall is really beautiful, Jack. In our neighborhood, the trees are really Amen. already Amen. up north beginning to turn. And we need to appreciate all of God's handiwork, don't we? Beautiful out there. Well, the first time I ever heard you preach, Jack, I was uh, in a church and I was ready to sing, and he was speaking. It was a, a huge church in my hometown. And uh, he was preaching on something that my pastor had never really zeroed in on, the coming war with Russia. Can you believe it? And uh, now, I must say, Jack, you were ahead of the time. Because what he spoke on way back then, we're seeing right now. Oh, Rexella, I want to tell you folks something. Get ready to meet the Lord. The Holy Spirit has come to me. And uh, in the beginning, he had me memorize many of the verses saying, you must begin preaching on the imminent return of Christ. And imminent means immediate. And the setting up of the kingdom of heaven and earth. And he says, Jack, I want you to start preaching this and preaching it soon because Christ is about to return to do these very things and we need to be saved and need to be ready, not just talking that language, but living the life because we've been genuinely born again. Amen, Jack. I'm so glad that you brought that out right in the beginning of the program. Amen. The most important reason that we're in your home is that you might be ready for anything. You can have the peace of God in spite of some of the things we're going to talk about today because the Lord is in your heart. Let me just add this, Rex. Yes. Uh, the war with Russia, I have preached 800 times in church crusades, 234 times in citywide crusades, and in 52 nations of the world. And a number of years ago, I said, you know, I won't be preaching on this. I've exhausted myself on that subject. And now I'm going to go into a general Bible studies, and I did. But I'm going to tell you something. This coming war is about to happen, so I'm returning to it. The Bible says about Gog and Magog. And there's going to be a tremendous onslaught. Mm. And millions are going to die. And the blood is going to flow to the bridles of the horses for 200 miles. And when it's all over, they're going to bury the dead for seven solid months and millions of people are going to die and we're going to have more to say about that but ladies and gentlemen please I beg you in Jesus name start reading Daniel and Revelation I have that in my Bible word for word explained and if you don't have this Bible, you need to get it because everything is about to happen. And I've spent hours in this and will cover every subject in this book, as you know. Oh, yes, Jack. My, oh, my. The Bible is so clear about everything that's happening today. And we're going to get in to that country that we've been talking about. It's in the paper all the time. Take a look at this first headline, if you will. The Taliban rush demand foreign troops leave Afghanistan. Well, you know what? They, they're joint there. They want a withdrawal of U.S.-led uh, troops right out of Afghanistan. They demand it. Russia, Iran blame the United States for regional tensions. Oh, are you kidding? 
Russia is always blaming us for something. No one has illusions. Roscosmos had comments on U.S. space militarization. And again, they're pointing to us that we're doing the wrong thing out there in space. And Turkey says to produce S-500s with Russia after S-400 missile deal. The president, Ergon, of Turkey is really, really standing with Russia, and they're joining together as a team. And Iran urges China, Russia, concrete action to save nuclear deal. Can you see, we're going to get into Iran in just a few minutes because they are really raising their heads, aren't they, friends? But Jack, would you explain about Russia right now? She raises uh, her head about everything. And uh, of course, uh, Putin has a lot to say with the Taliban. They're kind of joining together there. Is Russia preparing for World War III? A big question. Can you answer it for us? Definitely. Let me tell you something. Russia has been preparing for many years already. She was the first one to talk about the great World War III. And we've been waiting all these years now, but it's about to happen, ladies and gentlemen. So keep your eye on the newspapers. Keep your eye on the Word of God, because when it happens, we're gone. Revelation promises us that we will be saved from the hour of temptation which comes upon the whole world and the hour of temptation is World War III and we're going to be kept from it. How? He'll say, come up hither and it'll go up in 11 one hundredths of a second in the twinkling of an eye through billions of miles of space to be with Jesus and we're there for seven years as he gives out the rewards. And that time is when they're fighting World War III on Earth, but we've been delivered. That's the beginning of the second coming after seven years. And I'm going to get into that later. We get all of our rewards. We come back. And that's the last day of World War III, the Battle of Armageddon. And it just ends as we return. So we've been gone for the whole thing. Saved by the power of the blood of Jesus and the second coming of Christ. Now, the second coming is not the rapture. That gets us up there to get the crowns to return and set up the kingdom of heaven on earth forever and forever. And that's going to be a place where there's no more sickness, no more death, no more war. The greatest time in history. And I'll be speaking about that even next week. Hallelujah. Keep tuned. Oh, amen, Jack. I'm sorry to say that fears are really intensifying right now, that the terrible job that we are having right now with Iran is something we've never had before. In fact, um, it's sort of a standoff between Iran and America, and it's spiraling right out of control. Take a look. Iran hits out against the United States and its allies. My, oh, my. And the European Union urges Iran to back down from nuclear escalation. The foreign ministers of France and Germany and the UK are really concerned about what, what is happening there in Iran. Iran quadruples uranium enrichment. We don't care what you have to say. We're going to do what we want, even if the European Union and the United States try to keep us from it. Iran warns U.S. Navy of secret new weapon to send warships to the bottom of the sea. Oh, my. Can you believe it? And then U.S. official Iranian missiles spotted in the Persian Gulf. Well, I remember that back in May. And here we are. Tougher sanctions bring U.S.-Iran showdown. And you know there is going to be a showdown. Uh, we'll talk about that a little bit later. Britain warns Iran, don't underestimate the United States. Oh, my, Amen. Oh my. That was the British Foreign uh, Secretary. U.S. Iran say not seeking war as tensions spike. Well, our president said that. We don't want war, but are we ready? Iran accuses U.S. of an unacceptable escalation in tensions. <laughs> Going back and forth here, do you see it? Back and forth. Iran says no plans for Rouhani Trump meeting on UN side. Well, that, they went to the General Assembly, remember? And they said, we're not going to talk to each other while we're there. 
I'm not even, even going to say hello. Well, they didn't. Yeah, but our, our president still says this, Trump on Iran, we don't want war. Wow, but US that's is important. Yes, but U.S. is prepared after attack on Saudi oil. They want diplomacy, but uh, it's almost impossible with Iran. And also Saudi Arabia goes on and says it seeks to avert war, but the ball is in Iran's court. Well, you know why. Take a look at this next headline. Iran dismisses U.S. claim it was behind Saudi oil strikes and says ready for war. Well, the one says we don't want war, and the next says we're ready for war, if you can believe it. Well, I'm going to go to Jack right now. Iran is a very, very important country, isn't it, Jack, in World War III? Oh, ladies and gentlemen, you need my prophecy Bible. I have the book of Daniel and the book of Revelation describing this war. And I want every person in the world to have this before God calls me home. It's that important because it has everything you will ever want to know. You don't have to get extra books. It's here. Even the 10,385 verses on the prophecies of the Bible, proving every one of them is fulfilled. We need to be looking for the coming of Jesus, not playing around. We must be, obey this book, looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God, our Savior, Jesus Christ. And you know, the Holy Spirit's been coming to me. I'm not bragging. I'm not boasting. I'm not worthy, but he's there. And it was August the 13th of 2017 that he made his first appearance and said, you have been appointed along with Rex Eller to become the two that war in the world, that Jesus is about to set up the kingdom of heaven on earth. Start preaching it. I admit I have, should have been doing it right along. And then he came along on Easter Sunday morning. And he said, I want to remind you, your message is to preach the imminent Imminent means immediate return of Christ to set up the kingdom of heaven and earth. And I'll be doing that for the next two weeks. Now, listen very carefully, ladies and gentlemen. I had preached the coming war of Russia throughout this country just in my teens. 800 church crusades. I preached it because we had 1,600 invitations on a mailing list who said, come, we want you. And I couldn't handle it all. So I called my mentor, Billy Graham. I said, Billy, what shall I do? He said, I have promoted you throughout the world in Christ to preach at all the youth rallies for the young people. And you've done such a magnificent job. Now, he said, I want you to do what I do and get all the churches together and go for the great Christian rallies to bring people to the Lord Jesus Christ. And I've done it. In fact, just recently, I started the movement, the World for Christ Crusade. That's my new group. I'm going to call all denominations together. There are 9,000 of you. Forget it. You're all fighting one another. And it's going to be one group, Christian. And we're going to be the armies of victory against all the hosts of Satan. Russia will be a leader. The Bible says, I'm against the Oh, God, the Russian prince of Moscow and Tobolsk, I'll turn your belief back and leave with the six part of the five, six of their armies are going to fall. China's coming into the thing. They're going to lose. And then there are 57 Muslim nations that are now all teaching Islam. And boy, that's something you can't believe is possible. And I'll give you that next week. What is Islam? Who do they kill? And this is all going to be answered in these next two programs. But this is right now on Russia. But soon, it's going to be Iran. Now, folks, ladies and gentlemen, when I got a little tired of preaching on that 1,500 times in 52 nations of the world, I said, I've got to preach some other things. And they started the gospel of Jesus Christ. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, the life. No man can come to the Father but by me. And it was refreshing for me to get into something new. But when I left, I said, I probably won't be preaching on Russia much for a while. 
I'm worn out on that subject. So, anytime you pick up the papers and you read that a nation called Iran is going to come to power, get ready. Ladies and gentlemen, 100 headlines just in the last three, four months from all the newspapers of the world. A hundred! Iran, 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 Iran. You better get ready. Don't fool around with sin. You want the rewards that he's going to give out at that great hour soon. Suffer's crown. The crown for winning souls. The crown of life, eternal life. I'm not dealing with that right now. I will be dealing with it soon. But ladies and gentlemen, everything because of these 100 headlines has Russia, the communist world, Eastern nations, China, North Korea, all with Russia. But this group, Iran, mm. leads 57 denominations of the world, all Muslim nations who are going to go along with Russia. And these two enemies of the people will be created. It will be the greatest war in history. Millions die. There's going to be a river of blood 200 miles long with the blood flowing to the horse's bridles. Millions are going to die, both from the communist bloc and the Muslim bloc. Ladies and gentlemen, just this two days ago, the Holy Spirit says, Jack, he awakens me in the middle of the night. It's time. It's so near. Start preaching it immediately. So this is it. Get ready. Because Russia and Islam will soon be marching across the world. And that's the final thing, but hallelujah, this is something I couldn't preach the 1,500 times I did it before. I didn't know it. We won't be here. He calls us up for the time of rewards. It's called the rapture. Twinkling of an eye, 11 one hundredths of a second. We go through all of the crowns and he gives them to us. We come back at that time with Christ. The Lord's been preparing this great city called the Holy City, 1,500 miles long, 1,500 miles wide, 1,500 miles high. It can take care of every believer from all history. And the raptured crowd into the millions gets on board. And he says, come on, all the Lord. And it comes down to earth. I don't understand how this all works, but it gets down without any trouble. And when it hits the ground, it's the last day of the battle of Armageddon. Praise God, we've been gone. Seven years. And he says, now you don't need to worry anymore. On you, the second death has no power, and that's hell. Think of it. Now he's going to have a special judgment for the ones who are going there, but not you. We've been saved from the greatest war in history, and we come back and saved even from the final battle, Armageddon. And God help us. It's going to be wonderful. The holy city. No more war, no more bloodshed, no more cancer, no more heart attacks. Finished. A perfect world. Get ready. The Holy Spirit just two days ago said, preach it this week, Jack. It's that near. And he's coming back to set up the kingdom of heaven as is found in Matthew 24. And just I want quickly, to Jack, I want to bring out one point. He's coming back. He's going to stop that war. Where's that war taking place? All right outside uh, in the Valley of Megiddo in Israel. I want to quickly just give you a couple of headlines here. Israel thwarted Iranian armed drone attack. Oh, boy. Israel said to hit Iranian sites in Iraq, expanding sites on missile shipments. Again, Israel hit Iraq weapons depot. The July 19th strike north of Baghdad marks a new step to contain Iran. They're trying to contain them. That's well, um, MP, Israel preparing to start a war? Oh my, oh my, are you kidding? Israel, Iran, Hezbollah intensifying missile efforts. One last one. Swedish Iman fined for calling Jews offspring of apes and pigs. Oh my word. 
I can't believe how they hate Israel. That's where the Battle of Armageddon will take place. Jesus is going to stop it, as Jack just mentioned. And it's going to be very, very soon. Jack, thank you for bringing out the fact that the Lord is coming for his children before this great battle takes place. We need to be ready to go in the rapture. And I'm going to tell you some people who are not going to be ready, and that's some of you Palestinians. Now, you're not going to like what I say, but I say it. You hate the Jew more than anyone else, though you come from the same group of people. And all you can do is talk blasphemously against the Jewish people. You're in trouble with God. God loves the Jew. Rexel, I got to oh, yes. say, it. yes, it's on my heart. This is God the Father speaking. I did not choose you, Israel, because you were more in people than any other. You were the fewest, but I loved you. Now, he uses this in the form of a human being's love affair because we might not understand it otherwise. He said, Israel, I love you so much. You're the apple of my eye. Israel, you're my fiancé. Betrothed. Israel, you're my wife. Israel, I'm going to give you an everlasting name. What is it? Israel. And I'm going to set up my holy city. It's going to be transferred from heaven to earth. And I'm setting it up in Jerusalem. Oh, you anti-Semites who hate the Jews. You are in trouble with God because the kingdom of heaven Above is going to be transferred to the kingdom of heaven, to earth. Where? In the city of Jerusalem. I'm glad I can preach that. And I'm going to tell you something. I might have found had a mother who was a Jew. She came to a Spanish soldier who was in Belgium, where my dad was in the army. They got married. They're wondering if her name was Jewish and I'm going to find out because I'd be proud to be a Jew and I love the Jew and God loves the Jew and Jesus said salvation is of the Jew and you know what Paul said oh man Romans 9 I could wish myself accursed from Christ for my people the Jews and you Jew haters, you better get saved. You better get right with God because you don't know your Bibles, and especially you Palestinians who call yourselves Christians and you Christian groups that are anti-Semitic. Get right with God. I beg you in Jesus' name on the authority of this book, Amen. my holy Bible. Amen. It's all in there explained in the book of Daniel and the book of Revelation, verse by verse. One thing, Jack, we want to emphasize on our program today the importance of being ready. You know, I've said it so very often on our program, you could get in an accident and you'd be gone. Would you be ready? Would you be ready again? If the Lord were to come today, he could and take all of his children who know him, have him in their hearts, to heaven in the rapture. Oh, how we need to be ready for whatever tomorrow will hold. We don't know what it is, but it could be uh, something that affects you personally. Are you ready? Please ask yourself that question. I'm ready, Lord. I have Jesus in my heart. As Jack prays this prayer, will you ask Jesus to come into your heart as your Savior? Be forgiven of your sins, Jack. And Rexel, I just discovered there is 804 verses in this holy book about Jesus being the only way, only way. And you say, well, I'll do my good works. I'll, uh, maybe Allah will give me. No, he won't. Jesus alone. Jesus, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man, no woman can come to God the Father but by me. Don't you forget it. Let's come to him right now. The Holy Spirit said, get the message out. I'm telling you, it's almost at the door. Jack, tell the world. And I have. I've delivered my soul today. Now pray this prayer, Lord Jesus. You died at that cross for me. And the Bible says that if we receive you, Jesus, 
we'll be saved for all eternity. We'll be ready for the rapture. The second coming of Christ will be us because we've been in the rapture and we come back to this earth, planet earth, to live forever and forever and forever. With Jesus as the King of the kings and the Lord of the lords. Oh, wonderful. Jesus, come quickly. We want to be with you. So pray it, Father, I receive your son. Jesus, come into my heart. Save me now in your holy name. Amen. Amen. <laughs> did you pray that prayer? If you did, please let me know about it, will you? I want to send you this little book. Could I say it all the time? First steps in a new direction. You want a new life. You just received a new life if you received Jesus. You want a new walk. He'll walk with you. First steps in a new direction. He'll guide you in every aspect of your life. Will you just say, oh, Lord, I want my life to count for you now. I want to live for you. You don't Amen. have to turn to the world and some of the aspects that they offer through drugs or anything else. Reject it and walk with the Lord. Amen. I just want to say, friends, that our offer of this week is really, really, I, I think, a pretty wonderful offer because it's all about Jack Van Impe. It's a book that I wrote about him. Dr. Jack Van Impe, dynamic and dedicated. And I think if you watch our program all the time, you'll understand why I titled this book Dynamic and Dedicated. He's given his, his life to give the Word of God around the world. Here's our announcer to tell you how you can receive it. Chuck? Thank you, Rexella, my friend, to order Dynamic and Dedicated. And oh my, what a book. Have your credit card ready and call toll-free 24 hours a day, 1-800-JVI-7777. To order by mail in the U.S., send your donation of 1995 to Jack Vanapy Ministries, Box 7004, Troy, Michigan, 48007. In Canada, send your donation of 1995 to Jack Van Impe Ministries of Canada, Box 1717, Postal Station A, Windsor, Ontario, NINA6Y1. Now, once again, here's Rexella. Thank you so very much, Chuck, and I do want to encourage you to get it. You know, I have some pictures in here that are very personal, too. And um, for that alone, it might be worth ordering. No, no. <laughs> but it will be a blessing to your heart to see how God has used this man. And uh, I trust that you'll order it right away. Because of everything going on in the world, I just have to repeat this quotation once again. The best reason for doing right today is tomorrow. We look forward to being your home again next week. Tell them, remember, God cares for you. So do we so very much. Bye-bye. The preceding program was sponsored by the partners of Jack Vanapie Ministries.